Increasing addition patterns. Complete the pattern. So let's solve here. We have four plus eight. So if I have four plus eight, that equals 12. So four ones plus eight ones equals 12. Well, now we have four tens plus eight tens. So four tens plus eight tens or 40 plus 80. We're still gonna have 12 tens and 12 tens is 120. Now we have four hundreds plus eight hundreds. So four hundreds plus eight hundreds equals 12 hundreds. So 12 hundreds is written as 12 with a zero and a zero. And then the next one here says 4,000 plus 8,000. So if we're looking at 4,000 plus 8,000, we have 4,000s and 8,000s. So that's going to give us 12 thousands. So 12 plus the three hundreds to show 12 thousands. So 12 is our first one. Then we go to 120. Then we go to 1,200, and then we go to 12,000. All right, here we have something a little bit different. We're trying to find the add-in to complete the pattern. So four plus something equals 13. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine ones that get me to 13. So if I have four tens and I'm trying to get to 13 tens, then I wanna add nine tens. Well, what is nine tens equal to? Well, we can skip count by tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So that would be 90. Now we have four hundreds and we're trying to get to 13 hundreds. So we would add nine hundreds for this one. Well, let's count what nine hundreds is. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. So that would look like this. And then we're trying to go from 4,000 to 13,000. So we need to add nine thousands this time. And if we're trying to add nine thousands, well, that would just be nine thousand then. So we add nine, we move to 90, to 900, to 9,000. Five plus something completes this pattern. So five, I know in my head that five plus five equals 10. And we're trying to get to 12. So 10 plus two equals 12. So if I'm looking here, then I can add five plus two. Well, that's seven. So five plus seven equals 12. So now we have five tens plus how many tens equals 120, well that would be seven tens, and seven tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Now we're adding five hundreds plus 12 hundreds, well that would be seven hundreds there. So seven hundreds is written like this, seven hundred. And then we're going from five thousands to twelve thousands, so what are we adding? Well we're adding seven thousands. So 7,000 looks like this. So 7, 70, 700, and then 7,000. 3 plus something equals 9. Well, I know in my head that 3 plus 6 equals 9. So 3 ones plus 6 ones equals 9. Now we're looking at 3 tens plus something equals 9 tens. So that would be 6 tens. And 6 tens, you might have caught on, 6 tens is 60. So then we're going from 3 hundreds to 9 hundreds. So that would be 6 hundreds. And then 3,000 to 9,000, well, 3,000 plus 6,000. 
So we're still adding six, but instead of adding six ones, six tens, then six hundreds, then six thousands. So let's type in six, 60, 600, 6,000. Nine plus something equals 14. In my head, I know nine plus one equals 10. And 10 plus four equals 14. So then I know one plus four is five. So nine ones plus five ones equals 14. Now, if we're going to use nine tens plus how many tens equals 100 or 14 tens. So we're looking at 90 plus 50 or five tens. Now nine hundreds plus something equals 14 hundreds. So that would be five hundreds. Nine thousands plus something equals 14,000. So we're looking at 5,000 here. So let's close that out. Five to 50 to 500 to 5,000. Something plus four equals 13. So now our add-in is on a different side. It's the first add-in. It shouldn't make too much of a difference because in addition, you can switch the add-ins around. But from our last one, we might know that this is nine. Nine plus four equals 13, or nine ones plus four ones equals 13 ones. So if we're looking at four tens and 13 tens, well then we would also need nine tens. Nine tens is 90. If we're going from four hundreds to 13 hundreds, we would need nine hundreds then. Nine hundreds can be written like this. And then four thousands to thirteen thousands, we're looking at nine thousand then. So let's add nine thousand and let's close that and type it in. We're going from nine to ninety to nine hundred to nine thousand. Six plus four, well that's that's a quick fact for me. I know that six plus four makes ten. So six tens or 60 plus four tens or 40, well, that's gonna equal 10 tens. 10 tens is the same as counting by tens 10 times. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's 100. Six hundreds plus four hundreds equals 10 hundreds, and 10 hundreds is 1,000. 6,000 plus 4,000, well, that's 10 thousands, and 10 thousands can be written like this. Six plus something equals 10. Well, off of the last one, we might remember this fact family. Six plus four equals 10. So six ones plus four ones equals 10. Now we're adding six tens plus something equals 10 tens. Well, that would be four tens. So four tens is 40. 600 plus four hundreds equals a thousand and six thousand plus four thousands equals ten thousands. Well, something plus three equals nine. So I'm looking for a certain number of ones because something ones plus three ones equals nine ones. So that would be six ones plus three ones equals nine ones. Now we're moving on to our tens. We have three tens and nine tens, so six tens, six tens is 60. We have three hundreds and nine hundreds, so we would add six hundreds, and we can write six hundreds like this. Three thousand, nine thousand, so we're looking at six thousands. One plus nine, well one one plus nine one is 10 ones. So 10, one ten plus nine ten is 10 tens. 10 tens is 100. 100 plus 900 would give us 10 hundreds, and 10 hundreds can be written as 1,000. 1,000 plus 9,000 is written as 10,000, so that can be written like this. Nice job increasing addition patterns.